Well, hello, hello, hello. So, today is a beautiful day in South Georgia. Um, it was cold this morning, um, but honey, I woke up late, so I'm sure it was colder, would have been colder had I woke up on time, but nevertheless, I'm like, okay, um, I would have never thought that I would be in the garden today, but I am. And let me tell you why. Let me show you why. Come on with me. I'm going to show you how just a little bit of growth can just encourage a whole bunch of hope. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so let's do a kid check before I show you what I'm talking about so you can kind of see what's going down. So we got DJ here. Say hey. Hey. He's got his binoculars Ooh. and he did get on pink today, so we lit. We got, listen, this girl loves to be outside and I'm glad I listened to the Holy Spirit, the Ruach, because honey, when I was driving home, right, because we just got from picking up um, DJ from school, I, I was getting all kind of mixed emotions. I wanted to go to the cookout to get something to eat. I wanted to take a nap, all kind of stuff. Wait a minute, Kamara. But I'm glad I didn't listen to neither one of those and I got my butt home. And then we got Joshi Poo, who is supposed to be sweeping up this over here. Originally it was DJ, but that's how that's going. Anyway, let me show you what encouraged me to get started again. Okay, I was so, I got so motivated. Look at my peppers, right? Look at my peppers. And I don't know if these are peppers. Yeah, these are also peppers. These are... Oh my gosh, I gotta tell y'all what happened to what I transplanted in my raised beds. The carrots got me lit as well. Like, this a little something. And this, this a little, hey. Do you see the sprouted? There's hope, people. Look at Joshi Poo. We just gonna pray there ain't no ants going on, but he's having a good time and ruining my life because what I was motivated to get done is get away from my coffee, fill quite a bit of buckets up with whatever mixture my husband had with those fruit trees. If you did not catch that video, go ahead and catch it. Um, I felt like I did more than this. I really did. But let me tell you what I learned about why some of my... Um, some of my tr my transplants didn't get transplanted. They didn't turn out to be anything. Okay, I'm going to work and talk. So, the last y'all heard, I transplanted what I had in the ground and a lot of um, the seedlings that I started failed. As soon as I stopped that video, the chickens literally plucked up what I, what I had put, put in the ground. And I couldn't help but think about um, the parable that Yeshua, or as you may know him as Jesus, um, that he taught when he talked about the different uh, seeds. It was kind of a parable and analogy, the different seeds, um, those that fall on fertile ground, thorny ground, um, and how the devourer, how the enemy plucks it up. And that's exactly what, you know, what I, I witnessed. I was pretty sad and distraught. Um, so I haven't been out here since. However, I will say that I probably had one or two little transplants of garlic left. And I didn't have any irrigation over there. And I really didn't feel like, I wasn't motivated to lug a bucket of water over there every day or every other day. So they just died. Um, in hindsight, 
I will need to have my husband rehook up our very long hose so that it'll make it easier for me next year. Um, I'm sure we'll have some irrigation that's probably even better than that next year, but needless to say, I am motivated, not motivated enough to get in the raised bed, but definitely enough to, you know, try to pot my plants again. And I found out that um, there was a couple of wrenches in my plot and I'm gonna show you kind of what those wrenches were. Give me a second. I have um, put dirt, trying to find a nice place to put this. I can put it on the ground. So let me show y'all what I've done. Terrible angle. Let me show you what I've done. All right, so I potted all this dirt and these little pots here i need to fill this one up real quick these seed starters this one this one over here and probably some other buckets um this one right here i'm gonna fill these three up and then tomorrow i'm gonna start dropping seeds in the bucket and that's just how Tomorrow, dropping seeds in the bucket is going to be very easy. Now, let's talk about the wrench and the plant. Okay, let's look Let's look at this ghetto seesaw. Okay, they fighting now. Look, look, who about to tell? Tomorrow, now I'm gonna get on the seesaw. Okay, can y'all share the seesaw? Let me show y'all the seesaw. Okay, this is how creative black people are. It, it starts young. Look, at this. Look, okay, you get on the other side. That's the only way it's gonna work. Let's see. I want. I'm interested to see how this is gonna work. <laughs> Bruh, I cannot make this up. Like, uh oh, somebody hurt. Okay, okay, you're fine. Okay. Okay. See. All right. Anyways, so I had a lot of my pots over here. I did not know that it was a whole bunch of doggone ants. But I had a thriving aloe plant. Um, and these were some of the pots that were on the ground. And this is actually doing okay. This is one of my blackberry bushes. Um, but this is these are some that aren't doing the best. I mean, hey, amen for the green. Come on. But this ain't got no green. You see? It's, pretty disease let me know if y'all think I should get rid of this but I'm still keeping hope alive I'm just watering them but anyway it was a ton of ants um, over here so much so that um, I mean no growth took place no growth no growth took place so that kind of sucked so next time it's a little crooked what I'll do is not put anything on the ground, okay? DJ, just leave her alone, okay? Can you please leave her alone? Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so nothing on the ground. My husband is almost done with the shelving, so prayerfully I'll be able to, you know, put all of my plants on shelves. And that will help me out a bit. That'll help me out a bit. And we'll just see. We'll just see. I do have to do research and figure out if I'm going to start them off in the garage. Um, or if I can keep them on the shelves. I'm just filling this up. If you can't see, I don't know if you can see. I know my baby boy is over here, so I'm just looking at him too to make sure that no ants is getting to him because he is sitting on the ground. And I'm almost done. And see, this is why I got to do this in parts. I think I'll probably do some onions in here. It's pretty deep. I don't know what I'm going to do in here. I got some seeds in here that I probably shouldn't have because now they some of them wet. Yeah. 
these are my last two bins and I would have got probably like I don't know I'm probably gonna I'm definitely gonna plant at least at minimum 100 seeds tomorrow because I've got the pots and the starters ready for that and I'm super super excited about that I'm sorry about the lighting y'all it's a lot going on as you can tell okay that's enough that's why I draw the line I don't know what's in that bucket but Joshi Poo had fun all right I gotta go in the house and make dinner I'm probably gonna do I'm doing shredded it's not shredded chicken it's ground chicken I'm gonna make some quesadillas with that some black beans and some guacamole I don't think I'm taking y'all along with me because as you can hear my kids are cutting a dog on rug but I want to give you that brief update fix my glasses on my face so thank you for being patient with me I'm very happy that I got out here and did something it's all about not giving up I want to share my journey with you the ups and the downs I cannot wait to share my harvest with y'all I feel like well I'm gonna just be real I have never seen anyone's YouTube channel where it shows that they did a lot of work and they didn't get anything from it like I don't see that so I, I definitely want to be intentional in showing y'all the real so that you don't think you crazy or something's wrong with you or you don't have a green thumb because you planted some stuff and nothing came of it so some of the things that that can you know affect it is bugs but specifically ants so you might want to elevate your plants even if they are young I didn't get a chance to show y'all how I had um put some onions in a bin and of course it had holes at the bottom so the water could travel through and the roots would have some air to breathe well when I pulled the bin up it was some roots that had already gotten pretty deep in the ground I don't know what's going to happen and what's gonna come of it but what I did was I put some dirt over it and I'll show y'all what that looks like in a second okay so this is that spot this is the devil birds not these these are my turkeys but look at them oh you can't even see them day two day two of starting seeds before it gets too cold come on kid check Josh Poo Kamara Baby K, as we call her, and the notorious DJ. As much as I want to be all neat and cute, today is about completion. I can see that one of my lovely children have already opened one of my permanent markers that I use for my labels. And so I may not be able to label all of my seeds. I do have some pre-made labels for those seeds that did not do well. So that should work. But you know what? Listen, I'm just trying to get seeds in the dirt. I got a couple more days. I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do um, as far as why are you on her scooter? Put it back. Um, sorry, but anyways, I still haven't figured out if I'm going to allow them to stay outside, but probably not because the devil chickens have already knocked over some of my freaking bins that I put dirt in. So, <sighs> I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy about that. 
My son is over there cutting up. I believe in popping kids on and off camera. Ask about me. I gotta keep an eye on all of them. Why did you give that to him? What is that? Okay. All right. Time lapse. Time lapse. Okay, if it looks like it's laid outside, it kinda is. I decided to make sure that DJ had his homework done, cook dinner, and then come outside on day two. I did it the reverse way on the first day. So let me show you what I managed to get done. I'm pretty content with it. I'm gonna come outside tomorrow and get some more done. Maybe without the kids. Cause isn't it supposed to be peaceful? I didn't say anything. You did. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. All right, first off, some of these are not labeled, which is the problem, because I couldn't run in and get a marker. However, some of them are, Kamara, no. This is not micro greens, but this is some kind of greens. I know this is some kind of greens as well. This is some carrots, which I have carrots that's doing well. Swiss chard, kale. I don't know what this is. Then I did some cauliflower, broccoli. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is asparagus. Okra, beets. DJ getting in trouble. You ever feel like a child just itching for one? You ever, you ever, y'all know? Listen, if you don't know nothing about this, let me tell you something, my Lord. Listen, I'ma tell you. Hubby's home, he's gonna put all my Stuff on this table from the demon chickens and if they touch my stuff I'm gonna be eating hen I promise you I promise you they will be getting eaten I'm not kidding okay y'all I'm excited all right so I did um let me find some decent lighting Okay, so I did, oh Jesus, turnips, cabbages, um, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, kales, romaine lettuce, mixed lettuce blend, did I say turnips already? Collards, oh, I'm so excited about that. Okay, so that's what I did today. Tomorrow, I'm gonna do some onions. Um, and I'll see. I'll see what else I'm gonna do. I think I have some ginger, some store-bought ginger that has some roots that I'm gonna throw in the dirt. It's real good. Um, also, some garlic. Y'all seen how well my store-bought garlic did. Have some more of that. We'll see. Um, today was urgent. Tomorrow is not. I'm not gonna record it. It's 
the same stuff. Josh is crying in the back because he's having a hard time getting on the couch. He's small still. Um, yeah. Get something in the dirt, y'all. It's 5.55. I stopped eating at 6. So I got five minutes to gobble down some of these black beans and rice. I gotta go. If you give them the power to feed you, you give them the power to starve you. Action plan, mission, get something in the dirt. Okay, bye. Bombs over Baghdad. Really ain't that bad. Little wiretap, yes, yes. Little dodge in the IRS. Little haven from the tax man.